Hello everybody, it's Nicole from Kiwi, and in today's bonus video, we'll be reviewing two books from the company Studio Bye Bye that was kindly gifted to me. The first one is a fashion sketchbook, and the second one is a coloring book with handbags as the subject. So let's not waste any time and hop right into the video. For the price, both books are currently only available on Amazon, and for the fashion sketchbook, it is $9.90 and for the coloring book, it is $6.99. For the packaging, both books came in a bubble mailer, but unfortunately, it seems like they got a little bit bent during travel. For the sketchbook, there are 134 pages included, and some of the poses are by themselves, while most are paired together. The poses are printed in light gray so that your designs can stand out, and there are 10 different poses that repeat among the pages. As for the coloring book, there are 64 pages included, with the handbags printed on one side, and on the opposite side there are small text paragraphs with the story of the bag. In total, there are 26 bags to color, and five street style art pieces. For the pros, for the coloring book, I like that the bag designs are very detailed and the line art is very clean. I think it's interesting that they have a small paragraph telling the story of the bag if you're interested in reading about that. And if you really like handbags, then I think it would be a fun coloring book. As for the sketchbook, I like that the figure is already drawn out since it allows me to focus on drawing the clothes and designs. I also find that the midlines on the figures are very useful, especially if you are planning on designing something more symmetrical and want to find out where the midpoint is. And I also like that there are other options for the sketchbook figure template, such as males or children. As for the cons, for both books, the paper is really thin, so I wouldn't recommend using markers or anything wet since it's completely see-through if you do use markers. I did a test page with alcohol markers in the coloring book, and I put a piece of cardboard underneath to prevent it from staining the other side. But another thing that I found was that if you did use a wet medium on the paper, where the paragraph is will show through completely and basically be visible from the other side. As for the sketchbook, there's not really any variety in height or body shape, and I do realize that this is a fashion template sketchbook, so they do have the exaggerated bodies with the really long legs, but I think that if they do want to expand, it would be fun to have different body shapes and different heights so that you can design clothes for all body shapes and all heights. Overall, I would recommend the coloring book if you like coloring handbags, but I would suggest only using dry mediums such as colored pencils, which is what I used in this example. I personally would rather color people or clothes, so I'm probably not going to be using this as much, but I can see this being fun for a handbag enthusiast for someone that wants to learn more about handbags and color them. As for the sketchbook, I would recommend it for people who like to design clothes without drawing the model first. I really did have fun designing clothes, even though the proportions were not the same as how I draw my characters. I think having the template already there makes it really easy to imagine and design clothes that I wouldn't have to draw the model first. I think it would also be fun for somebody that wants to be a designer in the future and this is a great way to start and get ideas flowing. So I hope you found this video useful or helpful in any way. If you did and want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you're notified of when I post new videos. So with that, I want to thank you all so much for joining me today. Keep drawing, keep creating, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!